Yeah, kind of like the brother said, man. When we come out here and talk to our people, all right, they being stubborn, like the brother said, they don't want to listen. All right? And like the old saying goes, man, a, a hard head makes a soft behind, man. All right? So if you don't want to hear the Lord, the, the words of your Howard Bosh and man, there's consequences to that. All right? But not, not just, man, this brother come out week in and week out, man. You got brothers on all four corners of the earth that do the same thing. All right? You got brothers on all four corners of the earth that do the same thing, man. And they teaching the, they teaching the word correctly, man. Right? All right, they teaching the words correctly. Not going off, teaching all uh, uh, like false, false, false doctrines. You know, not doing it in vain. Not doing it for filthy lucre. You know, but our people, like you said, man, our people don't want to hear nothing. Man. Furthermore, like I'm gonna use this phrase, man. They. Our people don't think shit stink till they smell it, man. And it's a lot of shit they about to start smelling. And it's about to get real ugly real fast, man. You no, know? like a, a Aqua sent me a, 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 um, a video earlier, or a link talking about Donald Trump, you know, talking about a one world religion, man, which is prophesied through the scriptures. All right? So we in them times right now, man. If you can't see that, it's something really uh, spiritually wrong with you, man. And if you don't see it, the most high is blind you for, for one. And then if you do see it and, and choose not to acknowledge it, it's because you're comfortable with living in the situation and the circumstances that you're in right now. All right, you don't want to be delivered, man. All right, you're going to be the same dudes that get that RFID microchip, man. You're probably the nigga trying to butt line to get that shit. Yeah, so uh, this is uh, 2 Timothy chapter 2, so like chapter 3, verse 2. It says, For men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers. This old uh, blasphemers, you know, you got a lot of, uh, you know, you got a lot of Israelites. You know, whether they're in the know or whether they're not, you know, they basically, uh, you know, basically talk shit against the most high. Like, if somebody to say, make fun of, you know, the man in the howl and the man in the howl shot, that's, that's fucking crazy. Yeah. And, you know, you got, you got that, uh, you know, basically, basically going on, you know? Yeah, man. Uh, so it says, disobedience of parents. Like, you got, uh, you know, you got and our, our parents, our spiritual parents, yeah. is uh, you know, basically uh, our, our elders, our apostles, that basically taught us the correct doctrine because right. you know, growing up and all this, we didn't get taught the uh, the, the correct doctrine. You know, that's right, that's right, man. So we had to basically, you know, as Yahweh Shai said, you know, um, when, when he was asked, you know, who, who's gonna be uh, you know, the least or the greatest in the kingdom, he was basically saying, uh, you know, the person who's uh, you know, basically. Um, you know, becomes that that uh, new man and, and basically has a mentality of being a, a, a child and learning things over again, right? Because ultimately, when uh when the two thirds are basically destroyed, they're gonna come back in the kingdom. They're gonna have to learn righteousness again, right. and it's gonna be like instinct, like how you breathe, how you you know. They're not gonna have to think about it or plot or I mean, not plot, but uh, they're not gonna have to ponder or think about it. Just it's, 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 it's like you wake up in the morning. That's how you're going to be able to follow these laws, statutes, and commandments, man. In the kingdom. Alright? Alright, so it says, it says, uh, unthankful, unholy. Right, unthankful and unholy, man. They're not, that, that means they, they don't appreciate shit, man. They unthankful for this word that we out here giving to you, man. Why? Because you, you, you choose not to listen to it, man. Unholy. Why? Because you don't want to follow the law, statutes, and commandments, man. You don't want to turn back to your howl, boss, and your man. 
You want to continue to be with you. Now, whatever type of way you see fit to do, man. You know? That's the mentality of our people. All right? It's uh, Revelation 22 and 11. It says, he that is unjust, let him be unjust still. That's right, man. So if you're unjust, man, unjust is unjustified. If you're still unjust, man, all we got to do is tell you, man, where you're going off. And if you still want to do it, that's on you, man. You ain't going to lose no sleep over it. Yeah, I mean, why would we, why would we lose sleep over something that's the, uh, the will of the most high? Yeah. And all of you, all, all of you is commanded to do is come out here in the hallways and the hedges, man, and, and, and bring forth the word, man. Yeah, then, I mean, another thing I was thinking about, too, is like, um, you know, it's like our people, two-thirds, it's like they're so far gone that it's like, um, I don't know, it's like, you know, we can look at it as like like an animal or something that gets like hit by a car or something like that. It's like, you know, like when people hit, say like if somebody hits a deer or a fucking squirrel or something, it's like, you, you might as well just kill it and take it out of its misery <laughs> and have it just sitting there like, oh, you know, in pain and all that stuff like that. It's like, that's the way... You know what I'm saying? I kind of, I look at the two thirds, like, I mean, you don't, like the brother was saying, you don't use no sleep over the two thirds. You know what I'm saying? It's like you're in the hospice, man. Yeah, Once exactly. you go in the hospice, you're going to die, man. Yeah, it's like it's inevitable. It's that's right. like, you know, you know, yeah, that's a good example. Yeah. You, you, you in the, if you're in the hospice, that means you're going to die, man. So it's no coming back for you, right? And this, not, not just that, we warned you. You've been warned your whole life before you went to that hospice. All right, so you're getting everything that you're supposed to get before you go in the hospital. Once you're in there, we already did our job. So why should I care about a motherfucker that's in the hospital? After you already know, man. That means what? You're going to die. Man. And all these people out here that's not getting this word, guess what? They're in the hospital. They're just waiting. Now, it's, just, it's not a matter of if, it's just a matter of when it's going to happen. Man. That's it. Because we're in a condition like that, you know you're going to die. You're just waiting, waiting to die, man. And that's what these people out here are doing. They're waiting to die, but they don't know what's going to happen. But you have people out here that know, like, damn, World War III coming. They know that, man. But they choose not to want to take heed or, or take the proper precautions. I'm talking to the Israelites. You try to turn back to your by Shem Yahushua, man. What you want to do, you want to continue to still be niggas, man. Go out there and do what, the, do what the heathens do. So if you want to do what the heathens do, you're going to drink in that same cup that the heathens have to drink of. And so it says, he that is unjust, let him be unjust still. And he which is filthy, it says, let him be filthy still. Right, and he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. That's right. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. That's right, man. So that 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 right there is showing you a perfect balance, man. If you're wicked, let you be wicked, man. If you're filthy, you're going to continue to be filthy. If you're righteous, continue to be righteous. Man. It ain't no waffling or going back and forth, man. You better pick a side now and stick to it, man. Yeah, I mean, basically, you know, if you're, if you're meant to be part of the elect, I mean, it's nothing you can do, like the scripture say. Y'all start said, you know, basically, uh, the men that the Most High uh, sanctioned or, you know, set apart, uh, sanctified, none none can pluck them out of the Most High's hand. So, no matter what happens, the elect are going to um, be the elect, and there's nothing you can do. So, like, even if, you know, you have uh, somebody that's part of the elect, you know, and they, they, they start messing up or, or whatever, if, if the Most High, the Ha'abashim Yashai, Ascension and to be the elect, it's, it's nothing that they could do to uh, escape their uh, destiny, like that movie, you know, Final Destination. And like vice yeah, versa, with the two thirds, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's like you were saying about them being destroyed, it's nothing they could do to basically uh, not be destroyed. If that's their lot, if they uh, fall in that number of the uh, two thirds. Yeah. Yeah. That, that, was, that was a beautiful example, man. Because, you know, like the brother said, like Final Destination, man. They thought that they escaped it. Right? They, they thought that they escaped death. But what happened? 
came back to get him, man. You know? Like, when I, when I was still in the world running around doing crazy stuff, man, you know? It was like, I, I didn't feel comfortable or, or at ease until I got, got into this truth, man. And so I came out here and started teaching on the highways and byways. It was like something eating at me, man. I just wonder my whole mentality is like, man, just leave me alone. Let me just live, man. Let me just live and die, man. I don't want to be bothered with nobody. I just want to be the average Joe, get up, go to work, come home, and do whatever the hell I wanted. Just leave me alone, man. You know? But the Lord kept bothering me, man. Like, no, nah, this, this is what I don't have for you. I don't have, I don't want you to be like that. This is what I want you to do. Like the brother said, man, if the Lord, if the Lord puts on your spirit to come out here and teach on the highways and byways, there's nothing you can do about it, man. Only thing you can do is come out here and teach. Alright? That's that's it, man. Just as a matter of fact, prime example, just like you had Jonah, man. You know? Yahweh Bashim I was shot told him, man, you're gonna go to Nineveh and teach. No, Salaka. Yeah, Nineveh. He told me he's gonna go to Nineveh and teach. Jonah like, man, Lord, look, man, I'm going to touch Try, 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 try to take the, the uh, easy way out, man. You know? And during his travels trying to go to Tarsus, his ass got ate up by a whale, man. You know? To the most side, then, then he got in his mind, oh, dang, you know what? I have no choice. I got to go do what I got to do, man. Same thing with us, man, because it's nothing new under the sun. All right? So the Lord, and then even if you try to get out, and, the, and if you're of the elect, man, it's no getting out, man. Like how they say in the, in the mafia world, the only way out is death, you know? The only way out of this thing is death, man. Or to be delivered on a chariot, man. Because you do have people that's going to be our brothers of the elect, that's going to be martyrs, man. All right? Yeah, like, like um, you know, in the New Testament, you know, you had the, like, if you look at the, uh, the, uh, disciples and stuff, like, basically all of them, which I mean, I'm not sure about, um, you know, um, John the Brother later, but they were, like, put to death, right. put to death, basically, for a witness of, uh, you know, basically being followers of the Holocaust. Right? John the Baptist, you had, uh, uh, Apostle Paul, no, numerous of us, man, put to death. Yahweh Shah. You know? So that that mean and then in in uh like it would be in any army, man. Because we we soldiers in the army of the Lord, man, the the the, the uh the most honorable thing to do is die in, in doing the duty, man. Die doing the work. You know? If you don't get delivered. But you're still gonna be delivered during that death, man. In, in that death, man. But the outside confidence, man. All right? Yeah, like, you know, the scriptures say the dead and the outside is the black Christian. Right, man. So, uh, so uh, verse uh, 2 Timothy 3, uh, verse 3, it says, without uh, natural affection. So, like, in the last days, you know, you, like what I was saying earlier, you know, you got uh, Israelites that don't have no... Uh, you know, natural uh, affection about their, their brothers and all this stuff. They just don't like their football stuff. That's, oh, their, that's yeah. their whole, you know, mentality and stuff. Like, when you talk about Israel, you know, um, coming back together or, 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 um, or you know, being, being put back in there, um, you know, not all of us, you know, being uh, at the bottom or, or whatever. It's like, hey, our people don't care about that. All they, these people are talking about it, it's like they only care about themselves. It says, uh, truth, truth breakers. Oh, man. Truth breakers, man. Yeah. Yeah, what truth did you break? The, the, uh, the law says the commandments. Because you made a truth with Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shah, on the bottom of that mountain, man. To follow after his law, stats, and commandments. So with truth, what's that, what's that mean? That's, that's a, uh, a reason. Yeah, it's kind of like a covenant, that's a reason. Done. You signed a contract, man. And the only way out of that contract is death. All right? And to be brought back in your right mind, man. 
That's what it means by when it's saying you're a truce breaker, man. You're a truce breaker. You made a truce with your hour boss and your shop. Now you come over here, well, first of all, you brought over here. You suffer. Why? Because you broke the truce anyway. And you continue to break the truce, man. Okay. Alright, so it says, For men shall be, so like, uh, verse 3, without natural affection, false accusers, like you got people, you know, uh, Israelites are basically trying to, uh, you know, slander us, bear false witness against us. And, you know, we're, we're only trying to, you know, say the correct breakdowns and all that. Like about, you know, the case of point when you the uh, break issue and all that stuff. When, you know, we're, we, basically, we basically just explain that in the law, uh, you know, a, a man had a certain amount of power, um, you know, that a woman didn't have. We, we're basically saying once a woman goes through puberty, which is, you know, the flower of her age, That's right, man. she's a woman. You know, right. just like how a man... Nigga through puberty, there, man. So they could, you know, reproduce and all that. So they're an adult. So if a, a, a man could take a woman or seize a woman and rest, you know, and that would be that would be his uh, wife. That's what he's saying. But nobody's saying to go out and do that because that's what the scripture say. You know, that which is uh, lawful is not expedient. So I mean, it's not expedient for us to do it right now. You know, yeah, yeah. We're, we're just stating what it says in the law. Oh, God, that's the Old Testament. Man. Yeah, but that's so, still a law. Yeah, yeah, so like for Israelites to basically talk shit about that and try and downplay what the scripture says, you know, they're basically uh you know, they're basically like speaking like idle words against the uh, you know the truth is uh, very false witness, man. You know, cause them niggas, them the same niggas that come up against that and be like, man, you know what? Yo, they 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 like to teach uh it's cool to rape babies, man. You know? Rape little girls. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody, ain't, ain't nobody never said to go out here and grab yourself a 12 year old girl and have sex with her. That's not the doctrine that we out here teaching. Alright? We teaching that, and as a matter of fact, that's how Esau even knows that that's the, the correct age when a man becomes a, a, a man and a woman becomes a woman, man. Alright? Because they teach their own kids that, man. But you don't have uh, uh, Israelite groups coming at Esau like, oh, you know what, man? The Rothschilds, you know, they're, they're all the bushes, they, they said it was cool at 12 years old. You be a woman as a woman. You know? They don't call them all rapists and all that shit. Why? Because they love their oppressors. They love their oppressor. Uh, so, uh, it says, uh, incontinent, which is uh, basically, you know, without self-control because, you know, our, our people walk around, you know, they, they be like high all the time, not really in a, in a mentality of controlling their spirit, you know what I'm saying? They'll be all wild. Like fuck, like like the rappers and shit or whatever. You know they live that like wild lifestyle where they don't do whatever, like fuck the consequences or whatever. Right. And it's like the scriptures tell you, you know, be be sober and be like circumspect. You know what I'm saying? You gotta be, you gotta be watching everything that you do, watching you know the consequences, especially us out here. You know what I'm saying? Every time that we be going to like fuck somebody up or you know we could trash somebody and something like that, but we know that if we do that, we wouldn't be able to come out here. You know, you know, teach the word. Right, man. Like, uh, right. Like, you know, like, like, you know, something. And then, like, you were saying about how being in the society it just makes you fucking like mad and shit like that. Like, I don't know if you feel like a, a boxer. That, you know, like, when a boxer, like, for example, um, like the boxer, uh, Aaron Fryer, uh, he was like a boxer back in the, the 80s. Like, right? before his fights, he had, like, pictures of the uh, other fighters in the gym and all that stuff so looking at him. So it's like it would make me so like mad, maybe fuck to be the actual fight and all that. And it's like that's that's the same way I kind of you know feel in society. Like it just makes you like mad. Like you know, like something people consider like little, like you know people walking by or camera and all that shit. Like that shit just fucking makes you mad. Though. It's like like yo, disrespect man. or something. Yeah, cause, Cause yo, I guarantee you, if if the if the damn mayor was out here or the president of somebody. And there was a camera right where we got it. Why nobody be able to walk through that, man? Why? They have all this security around. 
and, and, and these niggas that you try to even come get their autograph or get a glimpse at them and show them respect. But you got men of the Lord coming out here teaching the word of your howl bossing outside. You niggas want to disrespect them. You know? But you respect Esau, man. But guess what, man? One thing's for sure, two things for certain. You're going to respect your howl bossing outside, man. And he's going to force you to do it. Alright? There's no getting around that. Alright? When the Lord comes back, he's come back with all his glory. Like I say, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess. Man. So even niggas like Nate and all that, Yohanna, all them dudes, man. They say bubble out black Chris and all them dudes, man. And they teach the name, they're they going to confess that name, man. You know? The same name that they're scoffing at right now. The same name that they scoff on. They're gonna have to confess that name, man. Uh, yeah, so it says, it says fierce. Uh, yeah, it says fierce. And fierce would kind of go along with. Uh, you know, in concert, like, like somebody that's uh, fierce, you look that word up. It says, not team Samuel. So, you know, that's, that's basically, uh, you know, what our, what just like we were just talking about, people is like, you know, on team, like you have us, you know, we'll come out here and you might have people that debate us, they're trying to debate us, and it's like, you know, the way they be, they be coming at us, like, you know, the scriptures say, a wise man will hear and will increase learning and stuff, you know what I mean? Um, you know, hear the whole matter before you speak and all this. It's like, our people don't do that. They don't, they don't think before they act, you know what I mean? So it says, it says despises those that are good, all right? We're basically doing a good work in the sight of, uh, you know, your how about sending out shot. So it's like, our people, our people hate them. But right. yet, you know, somebody that's uh, like these uh, entertainers and all, you know, all those people that aren't doing things that are good in this, uh, leading in terms of salvation uh, to the most high, it's like our people respect them. Uh, yeah, yeah. Like, like, like uh, you know, like I had somebody say to me, you know, um, like, you know, they'll make comments about like, you know, like, like basically like, like what we're doing isn't really, like they'll, they'll try and downplay what we're doing, like it's vain. And then they'll talk about other people, like, oh, you know, that are uh, trying to so-called make them decide. It's like, oh, you know, they're doing something with something like that. <laughs> Yo, furthermore, man, what, 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 what do you, what do you can, can you do in a society, you know, that, that that's positive to gain anything, right? Well, if you get the book of Ecclesiastes, that it say everything is vain, man, vanity of vanity, says the preacher. All this shit right here is vain. If you ain't coming out here in these highways and byways teaching the scriptures, all right? Teaching the name of Yahweh, why Yahweh shy, man. Your life is fucking vain, man. You ain't doing nothing. Like today, man, matter right of fact, today, my grandma, they having a party for her right now down in Atlantic City, man. All right? She turns 99 years old today, man. So they like, yo, that's a milestone. She made it, man, fuck that, man. I just gonna say, curse the day when I was born, man. No, the book of Job, man. Curse the day when I was born, man. As a matter of fact, one thing my grandma used to tell me that, man. She said, when you come into this world, you're supposed to be born. Yeah, I remember, uh, I think I was telling you, but I remember, like, when I was, um, when I was, like, younger, like, you know, like, when I was younger, and my sister had her first child or whatever, and she had told me, like, you know, Yo, I'll be here from like, uh, can't see in the morning to like, can't see at night. And like, yo, like, I, I mean, this is the one thing that I remember he said, and I'm just like, damn, that's just kind of true. He was like, because my sister was, uh, I think we were at church, and my sister was going through like labor, so she like text my mom or whatever. So my mom was like, oh, like, can you say a prayer or whatever? And he said, when a baby's born, you should, uh, what do you say? When, a, when somebody, yeah, I'm trying to think that. He said, when somebody's born, 
you should be sad that when somebody dies, you should be happy. That's right. Somebody that's born, that's right. born into a world of uncertainty. Right. Exactly, man. My grandma, she, she, she used to say the same thing, man. She said, when a, when a child is born, he's supposed to mourn, man. And now, I just, I, now, you know, growing up in society, well, I understand that, man. And then even getting, getting an understanding of the scripture, yeah, man, when you're born in society right now, you're not supposed to be happy about that shit. Especially if you're an Israelite, man. Maybe he's cracking his head. Why? Because he wanted shit. You know? You can get a, you can, you can get your fucking baby whatever, whatever they, whatever they need, man. But if you're an Israelite born in society into captivity, you're not supposed to be happy about that, man. You're not supposed to celebrate their birthdays, man. All right? When you die, that's when you're supposed to rejoice, man. All right? Because you don't got to be in captivity no more. All right? Yeah, he's like, are we about to run over there and try to rob him or something, man? You no, know, we out here teaching this word, man. And that, well, he looked like he's he was probably, a damn he different probably, nation. He, probably, he looked like a damn fucking, he's a, a, a hand mic. Yeah, kind of. You know? He yeah, might have like, been a jig, though. Yeah, like, you know, when my son was born, like, um, matter of fact, I, that's just when I was, like, learning the scriptures and all that shit. I'm like, damn, man. I mean, you know, it, then the thing is, it's hard enough to take care of yourself. Yeah, then you realize God. it's coming into a world where, you know, he's going to be catching all kind of hell. And then right. when you know what's going to happen and all this shit, you're like, damn, man. Like, you know, like, but then I had to prepare myself for, like, you know, knowing that, you know, it might come a time where I'm not with you. And you get stuck, you know, in the parts of law and shit. You know, you tip. So I'm like, you should be used to, like, drop me, right? Nine times out of ten, ninety-nine point nine percent chance that you're gonna, you know, get that uh, chip and all that stuff. Man, you know, that's why the scripture says, you know, seek out your own salvation. That's right, man. And and another thing, you know, having faith too, because you know, if you don't have faith, you ain't gonna be able to do it. Yeah, that's right. You ain't gonna be able to do it. Yeah, that's right. You ain't gonna be able to do it. Yeah, that's right. You ain't gonna be able to do it. Yeah, that's right. You ain't gonna be able to do it. Yeah, that's right. You ain't gonna be able to do it. Yeah, that's right. Pray to Yahweh Bash on your side that when that day come, man, that the Most High has has a, 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 a mercy on him, man. You know, that's why we come out here and teach his word, man. You know, even though our women do have our children, whatever, fuck them, man. All right? You know, fuck them. Because, first of all, they, they, they try to use the children against you, and they're our enemy right now, man. You know? But if we with them or whatever, yeah, you first you're going to love your woman that you with or whatever. So you're going to want the Lord to deliver her with you? No. But the the, the, the whole mission is to get out here and seek, seek for the hope for elect, man. So when that day comes, that, 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 that your children may be saved, man. And hey, man, if you, if you just so happen to lose your children, guess what? You're going to get them back in the kingdom, man. Tenfold, man. All right?